next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building, baby Goyard in the building, my guy. Welcome Hello. to the show. Hello. Now, I know this is a very interesting way to start Let's off go. an interview, but we were talking about Marvel shit, right? Yeah. Because um, I was talking about the symbiote cover and how much I love it, and you told me that you actually have that comic. I do. I have the Venom comic. It's one of my favorite ones of all time. Mm. Venom's my guy. Does, like, your love for comics, like, extend into, like, the movies and the shows and shit, too? Oh, like, 100%. You... Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm just like a movie head. I'm just a movie buff. Me too, yeah. So I just see like every movie. I mean, that's kind of how it started. But when that first Spider-Man came out, that shit hit. Mm. That's what really got me into it. Right. Like all superheroes. Oh, like the first Spider-Man movie. Was yeah, there. the first Spider-Man movie I'm ever. I think. What was like the first piece of superhero media? I feel like what really got me into superhero like Superman movie? and shit. Or well, yeah. like Batman even, but. Yeah, the toys, obviously. I think the first show I watched as a kid that got me into the comics shit was the original Spider-Man 90 show. Yeah, the that one, one that is really good. I need to rewatch it, bro. I haven't seen it in years. It's and it's interesting to watch. Did it, it age 20. badly? I don't think it aged badly, but like you know like I think we're also so used to like the new shit. New shit and like media like if you watch a TV show there's like a story like the storyline is continuing throughout the whole show. So it's kind of sometimes you're watching like the one-off episodes where it's like the bad guy of the week and you're just kind of like, why am I sitting through this? You're like, this doesn't go anywhere. It's just you like, ever seen the um the Batman one? Which one? The, fuck, I forget. But he had like that really sleek suit. Like Batman Beyond. Oh yeah, I Batman think. Beyond? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen Batman Beyond. The, it was a cartoon, right? Yeah. Yeah, that shit was hard. Yeah, the Batman that, Beyond. Was the hard. Batman Beyond was like my favorite because it was like that's the new Batman. Yeah. Like the younger one. Felt yeah, more relatable like young, yeah, like relatable. How do you feel about some of the, the, the movies that have been coming out lately? Hmm. Or like the media, like I guess like the T V shows too. Uh Ass. Yeah. Ass as fuck. I agree. I don't know what happened. I think the I like the last Doctor Strange. Cause I fuck with Sam Raimi. Yeah. Cause I'm I'm like a big horror guy. So like, Sam Raimi did Evil Dead and. Yep. So anything he does, he'll probably. Indulgent. Like yeah, but besides that, mm, Shazam or I don't. Shazam. I don't know that shit is trash. Fucking Black garbage. Trash. Garbage. Uh, Throw it away. Thor four. I hated Thor four. What? Which one? Thor four. Thor four. The Love and Thunder. Oh. <laughs> yeah love and thunder trash black panther 2 was cool but i felt like it was just a little little that bit. shit was garbage too, too you didn't like black panther 2 Nah. why that shit was you know what it is though i think that we are getting kind of like overindulged in superhero media but then i also feel like they're putting less effort into it or they're trying to make it too funny yeah i mean is. they they need to make like a really good rated r one you know like how logan was you yeah. know the wolverine movie that shit was really good. I mean, that's like the style they need to start going to. Because, all right, you know, crucify me. Marvel and DC is cool, guys. All right, the movies are cool. But, fuck, they're just badly made now. Yeah. I think, like, after. They Hank, need to get me to direct them. Which one would you direct? I'll direct them all. I direct Carnage. Mm. Yeah, they didn't do a good job with Venom 2, did they, huh? Nah. I would did, bring Carnage back. They did Carnage dirty in that movie. It was like Woody Harrelson or some shit. Old I, ass. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't necessarily mad at Woody Harrelson playing Carnage. I just think that the writers didn't. They made him enough. weak. They made it, yeah. They made him weak as fuck. I think Woody Harrelson makes a great, like, he could play a serial killer He very is a well. freaky guy. He, very freaky guy. Can, <laughs> Canadian looking ass boy. But I think that, I think that he, they just did him dirty with, like, Carnage in general. I agree. But I, I, what else did I do? I didn't like Secret Invasion. I'm not looking forward to the Marvels because I feel like everything's like they're they're trying to make the run times very short mm -hmm. so they can pack out like do like a hundred showings a day at the theaters and they're sacrificing like quality for the time and low that's... key all of them have like been flopping. Yeah, lately they're right? trying to give like them so much screen time and they all flop. So Ant, Ant Man three <laughs> trash, but the Batman was really good. Batman was sick. I like Batman. Batman, Batman was really good. That was and a good Spider -Man, one. Spider-Man, the last Spider-Man was obviously really good. 
Um, but I'm looking forward to Deadpool 3. I think Deadpool 3 is probably the one that I feel like will save me from everything. Let's hope. Well, anyway, how you been, bro? Good. How are you? Thanks I'm, for having me on. Thank you for coming here, bro. Yes, sir. Right out, uh, Fresh off tour, too. Fresh off tour. How was tour? Tour was amazing. It was really eye-opening. It was my first headlining tour, so. Oh, congrats, man. It was, yeah, it was great. Shout out everybody who was supporting on it. Um, uh, bro, the people supporting the artists were amazing. Mm. New York, I had Net spend out okay. for his first show. Cool, cool. First show ever. Really? Yeah. Had to get him. What do you feel like was like the realization for you? Like you said, it opened your eyes. Yeah, open my eyes just to like see what cities hit and what didn't, and then for the next ones, I'll come back and that they'll hit more. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It was just seeing like. Um, yeah, I was just seeing where it hit, which was, you know, great. Did you expect, like, some of those cities to not, like, hit the way that, you know? Um, I mean, I expected, like, the big cities to hit like that. There were a few small cities that hit, like, really well. Like, Toronto was super fun. Mm, dope. Um, okay. But, yeah, it was, it was super. I mean, I'm ready to go again. <laughs> I'm out here. You know, you're you're very consistent with the with like the projects too. Yeah, like for you sure. Dropped, like what, two, three projects already this year alone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I dropped uh, two albums. Yep. And a and a tape. Wait, what was it? Because I count I counted. You got. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Two albums. So, yep. but it, what I like about you and like your type of artistry in the lane that you're in right now is because what your fan bases consume is very like you could drop as many projects as you want a year and you're going to have that like cult fan base who's always going to like tune in no matter what and i think that's a great lane to be in i think that's a very underrated lane that people don't praise enough to because it's dope for sure i mean that's how i started doing it i like back in like 2017 mm -hmm. i just dropped like 10 songs like every week type shit mm -hmm just flooded so i have so much music out there that you know that's something i feel like has changed for me like because i've slowed down with that but that's only because i'm getting pickier you know and i'm not trying to like i'm trying to find the best of the best you know i'm just i'm not doing anything you know right. so you think you're just getting pickier with Tom or with the music you put out? Like, what do you think? Getting is, like, pickier changed? with the beats. I'm getting pickier with the sounds. I'm just. I want the best out of myself, and I don't want to have to like dim the creative lights by just doing anything, you know, just bullshit. So whatever I make now is like, that's the one, mm. you know. Do you think you're, it's kind of like moving towards that like one album a year type shit too? Uh, nah, I don't want to do that. I want to keep it going, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, you know, they people want music. People want music. That's just a fact. Like, people want you to drop music as an artist, and I feel like as an artist, that's your job to give them the art to feed them yeah. to feed the people. Yeah. Don't hold shit back forever, man. Yeah, I think it's an interesting time that we live in now with music, too, because I feel like, you know, you have, like, the traditional, quote-unquote, traditional way of dropping music where it's like, oh, we're going to drop one album every three years, and, like, great. And then you have, like, I think what I would consider, like, the newer way of thinking, which I feel like kind of started within, like, that SoundCloud era in, like, 2015, 2016, where it's like, nah, fuck that. Like, we don't really need to only drop one album every couple of years, especially because I, I, I feel like now... Like, you know, obviously you love music, but also music is a job too. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to make money off of it. And then sometimes it's like, if you're not, if you're dropping that one album every three years, unless you're someone literally like Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole or of that certain stature at that point in time already, like it doesn't work, you know, especially with these new fans and people's attention spans are very. Definitely. I mean, I get that it's, um, it's like a thin line of like keeping mystique. You know, keeping, yeah, like, the mystery yeah. alive and also being able to have people relate to you mm. by being able to drop the music. You know what I'm saying? So people don't relate to you as well when you don't give them anything because they don't know who you are. Mm. So it's a really thin line that how, you kind of have to teeter. Through. I was about to say, how do you balance that or how do you find that balance in your career now, especially when you're, like, reaching – 
like these levels now where it's like okay things are moving a lot faster right things are moving in a more upwards direction like you know like how are you trying to find that balance now too so the main balance i'm just trying to do is like everything i do is for it's like low-key performance art mm. type swag shit like everything i do is all it's the creative shit it's all the creative side so the line of that being like the mystique and dropping too much i feel like i've already like done a little bit of both mm -hmm. so now i'm just gonna you know create things that nobody has tried to do before right right like what like what, what's something that like is like on your wish list of things to create i mean without giving it away of course entirely there's a lot of stuff i want to try to do with filmmaking mm. um you know pop-ups that you wouldn't expect collabs you wouldn't expect just you know anything really fuck it i'll get into real estate and make baby goyard real estate collab firm you mentioned like filmmaking right because obviously we you mentioned already being a film head yeah um how much like especially like with the vids like do you already have like that type of like directorial impact on it too or like is that something that you're working towards to kind of you know i've always felt like i've had the eye for it um so yeah because music or like music and movies and all that stuff um paintings but i low-key like don't really fuck with paintings low which is a hot paintings. take but um <laughs> your art but your like sculpture like paintings too. no 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 like sculptures are oh, cool okay, 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 and okay. um you know like uh the painting of like the dogs playing poker like that's cool Look, but you, thumbs um, up from Cal, you got a thumbs up from my camera guy <laughs> but the mona lisa and shit you can miss me with that boringness i don't i don't really want to do that um the mona lisa don't slap hell no hell no <laughs> nah and so i i just say that um yeah, I'm fried. Sorry, what what were you talking about? I don't even. I don't. I was talking about. We're talking, you're about, talking uh, about a film, 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 yeah, yeah, right? Film, film, film. So, yeah, my music is all inspired by film. Mm, okay, no, but we, I, we, I was talking about you having more of a directorial role in your videos and other things that you're working on as we move forward too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, definitely, I'm definitely doing that more. Definitely trying to. Um, you know, put my vision into it yeah. all the way. But I don't have the director's mind. Right. You know, I have the yeah. art, I have the creator's mind. Mm -hmm. So I can't see some things that a director might, but I have ideas. Right. It's, it, you know, um, you were mentioning to me earlier how you're really into like horror movies and things like that. It was funny because I had like saw you tweet something about where you were like, oh, call this number and tell your scariest story for <laughs> Nuke Radio episode one. So this is the radio thing that you're that you're doing now. Yeah, correct? yeah, yeah. Um, yep. So what is Nuke Radio? So what exactly is Nuke Radio? So Nuke Radio was created by DJ Smokey, Shaq, LaFrance, um, and you know it's basically it's like a small collective hmm. that you know they just invented tags and threw it on like that's their shit like nuke radio is like it's basically like a gta radio like station. radio station are you a part of it too yeah okay so you're also so part of i am a part of it but um the first nuke radio volume one um volume two coming soon uh yeah that was me as the host got you okay while we were on tour and to conjoin so with the shaq is my too. dj mm, okay so we were like you know we have to do something it's we did it for shannon graham which is my app mm -hmm. shannon graham yeah <laughs> i like that everybody download shannon graham right now please down right now. if you don't know if you're just tuning in and learning about uh sir baby goyard that's his name this is government <laughs> government <laughs> that's his government name yeah, yeah. but i because I, I was wondering if that if you has had done this radio thing to conjoin with the project release that you and smokey had too um yeah it was all just combined to one yeah day. yeah okay, okay. i mean that it was the Laura Seeker album, the Laura Seeker tour, Nuke Radio, Shannon Graham. Those things just, they're kind of all 
the same. Right. So Shannon Graham, so you dropped the app, right? Yeah. So is it just kind of has is it a way more for just your fans to get like exclusive content, like a Patreon? A hundred percent. Yeah, it's for everything Shannon related. Mm. Dig into the life of a superstar. Can I download Shannon Graham? Who got my phone? When y'all got my phone? Calvin, you hear me? You got my phone? Take my phone. I'm, I want to download Shannon Graham. While download we're it right now on the interview. Yeah, please. Come on, man. Have to. We gotta it's free. It's free. Huh? John got my phone? Some, what do y'all got my phone? I want to download an app. The only app. The only app that matters. The only app that matters. Exactly. You heard it here first on the radar. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to clip this shit. Gabe <laughs> said it. The only app that matters. They're going to be like, they're going to be. Still on Facebook. Oh, hang up the phone. Toby, goodbye. Give me, why is she on FaceTime on my phone? Uh huh. I love you, Toby. Try to hit me with the cease and desist. Yo, I had to change real. the Hold logo. On, so it's just Shannon Graham. Uh huh. Is it? It's two ends, right? Yep. Shannon Graham. Boom. Shannon Graham. It's got the little. You know what I'm saying? It's right there in the App Store. I download it. Boom. Exclusive baby goyard. Oh, hold on. Let me just hit the little. What's my Apple password? They don't got no Face ID. All right, well, I, I forgot my Apple password, but I'm downloading it. I promise. I pinky promise I'm going to download it. See, it's downloading. Boom. Shannon Graham. Buy Baby Goyard. Go get that. It has access to Baby Goyard World, exclusive offers and experiences, live appearances, and go live with Baby Go. Oh, you could go live. I could go live. I, yeah. love, I love this. The picture of him with the fans. <laughs> That's fire. Yeah, I could go live. You know, it's... Uh, I really wanted to make an app that had everything in it. Yeah, but you have auctions like, on there too. Yeah. What, what, what are you auctioning off? Clothes from tour. Tough. Signed Tough. memorabilia. Okay. Signed cigarette packets. Signed anything you fucking want. Smart. Just, anything. Like baseballs. Yeah. I might sign baseballs. I like that. It you. might be kind of sick, right? Yeah. I kind of like that you made an app that like, it kind of like eliminates like the third partiness of like the Patreon too. And that way, it's just like directly, like a direct interaction between you and the fans. Like, like literally, like you know, it's, it's kind of like a play on Instagram, but like it's you know, Instagram is a direct way for people to interact with their fans. But this kind of takes it like a step further too. Yeah, definitely. And I was uh, hoping when um, they were saying that, like Instagram did threads, right? Remember that mm -hmm. bullshit? Yeah. Fail, right? Total flop. Yeah, I Threads is really bad. Nobody's used it ever. Some people, like, I was on Threads literally until the Drake and Central Sea Freestyle came out. And then after that, I stopped using it. I don't know why. I was like, that's my last post on Threads. Yeah, it was just, and when they did it, I was like, those motherfuckers know. Because that's, like, what I was trying to do. It was like, oh, so Instagram's making, like, a Twitter. Like, nice. Like, I wanted an Instagram that's like Twitter, that's like discord it's like you t it's all it's everything in one right literally everything in one. it's everything in one go get it <laughs> go shannon, get it shannon graham out now many updates are coming too so we're gonna have a lot more stuff you gotta have like a game in there too yeah we're gonna something. have games we're gonna have fuck it sports betting Sports betting. Anyway. <laughs> sports betting is nuts sports betting is nuts but what are we currently like cooking up like what are we working on right now I'm working on an album. Okay. For October. Some yep. Halloween shit. Yep. What's it called? Can we get the name? Can't give the name away just yet. But it's coming. It's going to be a surprise. Okay. Okay. But it is coming out October. Mm. And there's a lot of big things in store for October. And the rest of the year, really. I mean, I have the next, like, five months, like, let's go. Like, mapped out. Like Yeah, like, place. let's go. So what's this new album sounding like? Like, can you like, like, what, what can your fans, I guess, expect from it? Like, what can you tell? Us I'll about? say one thing: Sean Ferrari. Sean Ferrari. That's it. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Sean Ferrari. Sean Ferrari. October. Spooky. Scary. It's up. It's lit. It's lit. It's up. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's crawling on the floor. Catch it. So okay, so we got the new project coming out. Um, yeah. What else we got cooking for the rest of the year? Another tour. Another tour on the way, okay. Yep. Another two tours. I mean, if you really want to know, this is some crazy shit. Uh, I have a tour coming up with this death metal band called Petrela Guilt. They're from Texas. Okay. Europe tour. First Europe tour with Europe. a death metal band. 
It's a collab tour. That's fire. So th is this your first tour that you're going overseas for? Yep. Nice. January. How you feeling? Feel great. Excited? I'm super excited for that. Yeah. They're a death metal band. Yeah. They're the like last good death metal band, I would say, in the world. Mm -hmm. Shout out to, what's her name again? Portrayal of Guilt. Portrayal of Guilt. Yeah. Shout out Portrayal of Guilt. Everybody go listen to Portrayal of Guilt. We're talking about death metal series on On the Radar. Y'all not like. Exactly. The idea to stop nodding your head. Look at it. He's like, yes. <laughs> he, been, he knows. We've been this talking about like On the Radar knows. country in here. We've been talking about like On the Radar death metal. Like, they're not ready for it. Bluegrass, folk. Folk. I, on the Radar folk would be hard. Like some. Um, Mumford and Sons bullshit. Yo, I could see Mumford and Son doing an on the radar freestyle. That should be hard as fuck. That should be, yo, I gotta ask. I've been seeing it this whole time. What's up with the when did you get the Lizzie McGuire? Oh uh, yeah, the Lizzie. Uh I got it like three years ago. Okay. Yeah. Well, any any reasoning? Honestly, Hillary Duff is so sexy and I do love the cartoon of Lizzie McGuire. I loved it when they did that. And it was just something like unique. Yeah. All my tattoos are just kind of like different. I don't know. There's something. I have a fucking Olaf, a zombie Olaf from Frozen. Where's the zombie Olaf? Dude, this is some nut shit, bro. You got a zombie Olaf? Let me see. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Uh, bro, right now, because I know it's hard with tats. Um, you know, my favorite of all time has probably got to be like, I have a minion tattoo that I got. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, that's you got, like, like the shy guy with like the Freddy. Yeah. The Goyard mask. Oh, that's the Goyard mask? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Um, I got a few shit. I don't know. I always like this one too, just because like the hand tattoo, first of all, this shit hurts the worst. This is a very painful tattoo, tattoo to get. And um, the person, he's from New York. Shout out Nightmare Tattoo. He actually passed away oh, rest like, uh, like four months ago. But mm. yeah, it's from um, Cabin in the Woods, Let me see, which is I, my favorite movie. I haven't seen Cabin in the Woods in a long time, too. That's tough. That name of Cabin but in it's Woods fading. Is and I don't want to get it touched up because he passed away. And yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. it's like, it's not, yeah. it's fine. You know, it's like. Lay it to rest type shit. Right. I also see the umbrella tattoo right here. Yeah, the umbrella. Yep. That's tough. Yes, sir. Well, look, man, I'm excited for Halloween season because I feel like it's going to be a, it's Bro, gonna be a very Halloween dope. is always my season. I know Halloween Always season. my season, man. You know, my birthday is October 28th, so I always felt like just super creative that month. Mm. And everything goes on. Bro, why is everybody's birthday in October? I'm August, Who's ever I'm lived? August baby, so. All right, bro. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um anyway <laughs> he said, uh, <laughs> yeah but no I, october but is the best month all the it's funny because like all like a lot of the women in my family were all born in october too they're all like libras and shit i'm a scorpio okay respectfully oh well libras and is that libras, fucked yeah. i don't really know signs i don't know you don't know signs no signs like that i just let the girls tell me about the signs and i just keep pushing i got symbols on my body but i don't know signs bars like mel gibson bars i don't know them Bars. Great movie, by the way. Super underrated movie. In my opinion. Great movie. Super great movie. Well, look, man. It's been fun having you here. I can't wait for you to come back. Yo, I want to do some Halloween shit with you. I've been trying to do a Halloween episode on On the Radar so bad. Let's do it. Let's do it like a special edition with like bats yeah. flying. Ask Rob. And, and Rob, you can hear me? Turn this shit orange. I can't turn this orange, but I can turn this orange. I, can turn the, I can't turn the sign. Uh, I can turn anything else you could get a new sign made just for it. All right. Well, we'll see about that. Come on, flex it. Come on. But, I thought um, he was flexing on on the radar. But we can actually, we could do something because I actually do have ideas for Halloween. But I will talk about that off the air, man. Okay. But look, I'm so happy to have you here, man. Thank you for bringing something different to the show today. Thank you for you know being you and making incredible music. Um, before we get up out of here, uh, let the people know they can follow you. Anything else you want to let the fans know? They know they got the new project on the way. Um, now's the time to do it. This camera on the right, right here. Right here. Yeah. Uh, everybody go download Shannon Graham, the app, the best <laughs> app. It's on the app store. It's the number one app. They say, I don't know, not me, but all the other people in the world. Yep. Um, SSX baby Goyard on Instagram, baby Goyard everywhere. 
You guys know what, who the fuck it is. There you go. Well, make sure the you one go, and only. The one and only. We'll go check out everything he has out now. Go run up the new project. Go look out for the new uh, Halloween project coming this October. Yes. Um, go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Run up that freestyle. Love is free. Support is free. But y'all already knew that. So next time, baby, go yard. On Let's go. We out. Love, brother.